Hello and welcome to today's video. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to snipe. Now, this is based off my personal experience as I have been a PvP player for a while now. Uh, now, this video will be useful to you know anyone across all platforms, so you know PC, uh, PlayStation, as well as Xbox. Um, but um, yeah, hope you guys enjoy. Okay, starting off, what I'm going to be showing you guys is the snipers that I like to use uh, for when I'm using PvP. Uh, now, starting off, I do have the Heavy Sniper Mark II. Uh, I definitely do recommend the Mark II over, you know, the original, only because it does more damage, and, you know, with the Contract DLC that was released at the end of last year, uh, I believe it can one-shot players from the torso upwards. Uh, now, next up, we do have the Marksman Rifle, which is, um... Yeah, it's really not my favorite weapon. But, anyways, what we're going to be talking about is the movement. Now, in a second, I will be scoping in um, you know, through my sniper while in third person, and as you guys will see very shortly, I am moving very slowly, yet I am able to track, uh, you know, this NPC a lot easier, but you actually don't want to do this very often, if not ever, if you're fighting a player, only because uh, your opponent will be able, you know, to kill you a lot easier, only because you are not moving as much, but in a second, I will be showing you guys what it's like in first person, and as you, uh, as you guys will see very shortly, I am able to, you know, have a lot more control over my character, I'm able to move around a lot quicker as well, uh, and see, if you were to 1v1 a player in that sort of scenario, chances are you might be able to win, depending on how accurate you are, which I'll also be covering later on in the video. Now, if you guys weren't actually certain of how much of a change, uh, you know, being in third person versus first person is, uh, as you guys can see in the gameplay, uh, on the left side, I do have, you know, the third person POV of what I'm using a uh, sniper, whereas on the right side, I am in first person. And as you guys can see, there is a very clear difference uh, between the two. Alright, next up, what I'm going to be talking about is Thermal Helmet as well as the Thermal Scope. Now, in order to actually get the Thermal Scope, uh, I believe you have to do some bunker missions, actually quite a fair few in order to unlock it, whereas with the Thermal Helmet you can just buy. Uh, now, the reason why I love to use this in PvP is, as you guys can see, uh, pretty much any NPC around me does have a orange outline, uh, which, you know, uh, signifies, you know, that it's a person. Uh, which, you know, has the same effect on uh, players as well. Uh, and not only that, but, uh, you know, the environment is a very dark blue, almost like a like a midnight blue sort of color. Uh, now, I do use this quite a fair bit, especially, you know, when someone's, uh, you know, out of my render distance. Uh, and see, what's actually really cool is that if you are up against a player that is very far away from you, they actually do have a very small, you know, orange, uh, you know, little square which signifies uh, the center of the character and you know if you do get better at sniping this will definitely be very useful and you can take uh, you know a major advantage uh, later on. Okay now this tip is probably going to be the most useful out of all the tips that are going to be covered in this video and that is when you are scoping in what I do recommend is you don't actually move your right stick if you're on console or your mouse if you're on PC. Now the reason why is because if you were to try and move your you know right stick at the same time as your left, chances are you will miss, especially if you if you you know you're gonna try and hit flicks. Now what I do recommend, you know, is just use your left stick or you know use uh, A and D, you know the keys on if you're on PC, only because you know uh, you do have a greater chance of actually hitting a target, uh, especially you know if they are further distance. Now as you guys can see in the gameplay, I haven't actually zoomed in yet, uh, you know which. I am trying to show you why it is useful now um, and later on I actually do take a few shots you know with uh, myself you know trying to hit flicks at the same time as you know not moving my right stick at all now in the gameplay I accidentally did hit a few flick shots which I actually didn't even mean to but if you do you know what I say and you know don't really rely much on your right stick or you know your mouse if you're on PC chances are you will hit a lot more shots uh, you know more commonly now not only this but obviously, you know, you do have to look around. So what I do recommend doing is that, you know, if you are on console, uh, if you do hold the right stick, you will actually do a quick 180. And at that point, if you do hold L2 or LT if you're on Xbox, you can actually, you know, just do a really quick 180 and then scope in again. Um, but again, I wouldn't really recommend doing this, uh, you know, for beginners, snipers, only because, it, you know, you can get easily confused of where you are at. And, you know, if you're constantly doing it, you will get, you know, obviously very confused later on. But obviously, you know, you got to practice a bit in order to get better at it. Uh, as you know, it is something I do quite commonly now. Um, but yeah. Okay, maybe this might be the best tip. But uh, the next thing I'm going to be talking about is heavily rely on your radar. Only because, uh, you know, if your opponent isn't paying attention to where you are, you can get an advantage. And so what I mean by this is, okay, let's say that there's an enemy, uh, you know, near where my MC is uh, on the map. I can, you know, have a very good idea of where to look. 
uh, whereas, you know, if I wasn't looking at my radar pretty much ever, chances are, you know, my opponent will be able to kill me a lot easier. Um, but if you are also on console, if you double tap down on the D-pad, you will actually, you know, expand your radar, which, you know, will definitely help out big time as well. As you know, you will definitely have a, you know, clearer idea of where your enemies are. Now, if, uh, you know, a player was, uh, you know, in a building on the mini map, chances are they'll either be on the roof of the building or the bottom. Um, but yeah. Now, what I want to talk about now is the different ammo types that you can use while in PvP. Now, in total, there are six different types. You know, one is the um, appeasing round, which, you know, it does extra damage to, you know, body armor. Uh, next up, we've got the explosive rounds, which, you know, it I think it makes sense. Explodes on impact. Um, uh, next up, we do have the full metal jacket rounds, which, you know, it is used against, you know, to deal more damage to a bulletproof glass as well as vehicles. Uh, next up, we've got the hollow point rounds, which increases damage to unarmored vehicles or, sorry, enemies. Next up, we've got the incendiary rounds, which, you know, what it does is that every time you hit your opponent, it will actually light them up on fire. So, you know, if you were to shoot them in the leg or something, you know, it'll light them up and hopefully secure your kill. Uh, but the last, uh, you know, round we have are the tracer rounds. And what that does is that it adds a trail of light to your bullets that match the tint of your weapon, um, which, you know, isn't really good in my opinion. Uh, but, you know, it does, you know, based on personal preference. Um, if I were to, you know, have all these unlocked, I might have to use the uh, incendiary rounds or the explosive rounds. Um, but obviously, you know, you are limited to how much you can have. I believe you can have a max, maybe 40 bullets, uh, you know, per round. Um, and, you know, if you want to purchase more, I believe you have to go to MOT to, you know, buy more ammo. Um, but yeah. Now for this segment, I actually did briefly cover it in the last one. Uh, but what I want to talk about is that uh, when you are fighting your opponents, always aim for the torso only because it is the largest you know area that you can snipe now yes you can aim for headshots or you know you can aim for the legs that's totally up to you but you know if you want to have a better chance of killing your opponents try and aim for the torso now with the you know sort of recent update that came out at the end of last year you know the contract dlc or the franklin dlc uh i believe all bullets should one shot your opponents now uh but you know if you do have the different ammo types that I previously covered chances are you will definitely you know secure your kill uh quite easily now, the last thing I'll be covering for today's video is maintaining your ground. Now, what I mean by this is that if your opponent is on a roof, which does happen quite commonly, you know, where your opponent has like a Mark II and flies to the roof, uh, at this point, what you can do is I would actually recommend using rockets as, you know, chances are what will happen is that when you do try and snipe your opponents, chances are, you know, the second you hit them, they'll back off and, you know, heal themselves. Whereas, you know, if you have an RPG or, you know, you can use grenade launchers as well, uh, chances are you can actually, you know, uh, deal extra damage or, you know, frighten them a little bit more. But if you do have VST, chances are you'll definitely be able to one-shot them. But also, um, make sure that you are on level, if not, you have the high ground on your opponents, only because, you know, you'll have, a, you know, obviously a height advantage. Um, but yeah. But anyways, that will be a wrap up for today's video. If you haven't already, make sure to drop a like and subscribe for more, as we're currently on the road to 4,000 subscribers. Um, but uh, anyways, uh, I'm out. Bye, guys. Yo, yo, yo! Ah!